ever had percolated through those years of writing um, worked. And the other the other process that I, I will mention to you, and you'll have to think this one over. But when I paint a black painting, paint the canvas black, and I approach the canvas, I see the individuals there. I don't always know the topic I'm going to paint. But I see the individuals there. I see their hands, their fingernails. When I go to paint an eye, I see an eye. So I, it's easier for me. I don't know why my mind works that way, but it's here in the sense that I, I don't struggle. There it is right before me. And I am just, you know, painting those figures that I see. Um, that's one reason why I continue to paint with uh, wet black oil in the backdrop of any painting, no matter how big it is. Uh, and some of them now 10 or 12 feet by 5 or 6 feet. Do the same thing with them. Uh, so I felt, I always felt, and I often discuss my paintings uh, in, with, in a lecture or individually if somebody's at a gallery and I'm explaining them to them. I often in the sense that I, I don't struggle. There it is right before me and I am just, you know, painting those figures that I see. Um, that's one reason why I continue to paint with uh, wet black oil in the backdrop of any painting, no matter how big it is. Uh, and some of them now 10 or 12 feet by 5 or 6 feet. Do the same thing with them. Uh, so I felt, I always felt, and I often discuss my paintings uh, in, with, in a lecture or individually if somebody's at a gallery and I'm explaining them to them. I often say, uh, they, they did this, they did that, uh, as if the painter is not me, um, as if it's a spirit. And I, I actually believe it is. Um, I seem to remember living before some other days some other years, some other centuries. Uh, one of those is uh, the Count, I call him the Count, the Italian Count in his villa. And I noticed that uh, in decorating my home in Cambria, it looks four or 500 years old inside because the Count lives there. The Count in me lives there. So I'm real big on that. I think the artist that uh, does the figurative painting lives with me, in me too and has been um, painting. I, I can't tell you what century he's from. I would guess probably around the Renaissance age, uh, sometime between 1500 and 1600. Because so much of what I do and the colors I use hark back to that period. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's how I got started painting again. Uh, I had to live life in between that. I got married. I had a son, I earned a living, I uh, had hoped to be a best-selling novelist, I, I was not, but I had hoped to um, write a novel every year and uh, gain great wealth from it, like I had imagined people do, and they do, some people do, of course, but uh, it didn't happen. I ended up doing some lectures at uh, California State University. I ended up uh, having seminars in my uh, uh, office with individuals who wanted to write screenplays or wanted to write novels since I knew the process and had uh, written several myself but also had worked on a huge amount of other people's work during my time in Beverly Hills. Uh, I also uh, realized that when I came back to painting it was really great. I mean, I, I had missed it a lot, and I built a studio in Cambria, and that's where I devoted a lot of my time, really. Uh, and I painted eclectic, eclectically, as I say, and it was real important all those figures because I think they began to build, what, and finally I did a... a um, a long, long piece, a 10 by uh, 5, uh, and I put a bunch of canvases together and I started to do this big scene of the baptism of one of the Tsar's children with the uh, patriarch and all. 
uh, it didn't turn out as well as I would like, although I think I have a photo of it, but it was the first time I had actually put together a huge amount of people in one painting and a scene, much as you see in the Vatican. I also did, a bit later than that, um, a marketplace scene where this lady's been brought before the magistrate because she's supposed to be a prostitute. And the expressions on all the crowd, which includes horses, of course, and dogs and stuff, uh, was to judge her, or not judge her, mostly judging her in their faces, but they probably had tried her out too. So, you know, what, what were they judging her for? I'm a big person on working toward no judgment for any reason, anyone, for anything. Very difficult. But in my paintings, I'm trying to get you, as the viewer, to understand that you don't have to judge the scene. You can enjoy it. You can understand what's going on with these people. Uh, most viewers in the galleries seem to have to tell us what they think of the painting as an artist. Yes, well, we're used to it, and I, I tolerate it. I don't make a comment back. I, I figure they're seeing what they need to see, and I try to be very kind and open to them and listen to 